Hi everyone. So in the last tutorial of linker list, we had discussed how to create a singly linked list and how to print all the elements of singly linked list. Now in this tutorial, we will be discussing how to insert a new node in the beginning of singly linked list. So let's get started with pictorial view. So now here we will be having two use cases. The first use case will be uh, when there is no any node and head will be pointing to null. And the second use case will be when there are nodes available and head will be pointing to first node of singly linked list. So let's discuss the first use case uh, when there are no any node available and head will be pointing to uh, null like this. So in this use case we will be creating a new node which we want to insert and we will be creating we will be writing this line of code to create a new node with data 5. When we execute this uh, line of code it will be creating a new node like this and the reference of new node will be point pointing to null by default as you can see now our first task of this use case will be uh, head should pointing head should point to newly created node now that job is taking care of this line head is equal to new node when we execute this line so head will start pointing to newly created node let's execute this line now you can see the previous link of head is no longer available and head is start pointing to newly created node. Now this is the first use case. Now uh, let's dis discuss the second use case where there are nodes available and head is pointing to first node of singly linked list. So in this use case we will be doing the same uh, steps. We will be creating a new node and for that we will be using this line of code to create a new node with data uh, 5. And when we execute this line, it will create a new node like this. And you can see the data which the node which has data 5. Uh, so that reference is pointing to null by default. Now our first step of this use case is uh, we need to connect these nodes together so that it can frame a chain. Now uh, uh, this newly created node should point wherever head is pointing. So that is taking care of this line and uh, new node dot next is equal to head means uh, new node dot next means this reference should point wherever head is pointing. So it should start pointing that. Now when we execute this line of code, it will start pointing to wherever head is pointing. So let's execute this line. Now you can see uh, the previous link of newly created uh, node is no longer available and it start pointing to wherever, wherever head is pointing. Now the second task of this uh, use case is head should start pointing to newly created node. So that is taking care of this line of code head is equal to new node. Now when you execute this line so it will start pointing to newly created node and the previous link of head which was pointing to this node which has data value 10 will no longer available. So let's run this new uh, last line of code. Now you can see had to start pointing to newly created node. And now you can see we have inserted the new node in the beginning of the linker list. So if you want to add a new node in the beginning of a link list, you have to follow these steps again uh, and you will be able to add the new node in the beginning of linker list. So uh, we have done with the discussion of pictorial. Now let's get started with the backend uh, code. Here I have created a new class with name insert node at beginning. So inside that we'll, uh, we'll be writing one method which will be taking care of uh, inserting the node in the beginning of linked list. So let's get started. Private void and the method name will be insert at beginning which will be expecting uh, input input parameter as uh, data of integer type. Now our first step will be we will be creating a node. So let's go here. Uh, we will be covering this second use case when there are nodes available and head is pointing to first node of the singly linked list. So we will be covering this use case uh, while covering this use case when we're done with the covering this use case. So first use case when there are no any node available 
and head is pointing to null. So that is also completed when we complete this use case. So now we have to create node. We have to write a uh, code like this, which will create a new node. So let's do that. Create new node, which Okay, now let's create the new node, node, and uh, it will be new node is equal to new node. Now the data of that newly created node will be receiving from this method, from a parameter. Let's pass this here. Now we have created this new node, but yeah, new node with data which we are uh, accepting from uh, method parameter. Now this is created and by default, this reference is pointing to null. And now we have created this one and head is still not there. Let's create that one as well. Private node head. Now, uh, our first job is we have to check whether this head is pointing to null or not. So we have here uh, utility classes that is providing us the uh, inbuilt method. Like we have object classes, which is which has a non-null non method, which will be expecting as uh, object as input. So we will be passing here new uh, head, sorry, head. So it will taking care of comparing uh, null check and all. So when when this head is not pointing to null means there are nodes available in that case uh, we already uh, created this node here now our job is to connect newly uh, created node reference to wherever a head is pointing so this is the code which will be taking care of connecting newly created node with uh, wherever head is pointing so let's do that as well so new node dot next should point wherever head is pointing all right now when we execute this line so it will uh, it will start pointing to wherever head is pointing see now we have done the first one the first step now second step is head should start pointing pointing to uh, newly created node and the previous link of head should be no longer available now that will be taking care of this line head is equal to new node so let's do that head is equal to new node now uh, head with this line this line of code head will start pointing to newly created node <coughs> so when you run this line it will start pointing so head will start pointing to newly created node and the previous link will no longer available now you can see here so we have co covered this second scenario. Now let's discuss the first scenario. First scenario is also covered with this line of code. So let's say when head is pointing null because there, there, there will not be any nodes available. So that's why head is pointing to null. So let's dis discuss that one. Okay, head is pointing to null. So it will not go inside this uh, if block and we will be creating new node which we have done here before checking the null of uh, head now it will create like this with data 5 and the reference of newly created node will pointing to null as it was pointing it is pointing here now if this will not execute it will come directly to this line so which will uh, be taking care of connecting head with newly created node so we have uh, we already uh, wrote this line of code here so when we execute this line of code so head will start pointing to newly created node so you can see when we run this code so it will taking care of newly it will take care of uh, first use case where head is pointing to null so in both use cases uh, this will be this line of code will be uh, useful and this line of code is covering bo both of the use cases 
now you can see these both use cases are uh, covered now uh, let's let's create main method to verify whether our uh, use cases are covered or not whether uh, this method is providing a right output or not so let's create uh, the object of current class so that we will be able to access the method as well as the head of uh, this class new insert not at beginning <coughs> now uh, let's 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 print this node because there is no any node available so we need to check whether we are uh, we are getting null or not so we have created one class in the last tutorial print linker list inside that uh, one method is there display list which, which is taking care of printing all the nodes so we will be using this in our program so print link list dot display list we have list and which is providing us head so print all the elements of linked list okay so let's run this and verify whether we are getting null or not because there is no any node available for now yeah you can see there is no any node that's why we are getting null here now let's create a first node uh, okay now let's call uh, insert insert at beginning method and let's pass initially 40 here now of uh, let's run this class again so we will be having output like uh, 40 and null this should be the output let's check whether we are getting the same output or not 40 and null right now uh, let's pass one another method and sorry another input like 30 now uh, as we have inserted 40 uh, f first and then 30 second time so 30 should come before 40 because we uh, 40 is al already there in the linked list right and now we are about we are inserting 30 and we have insert at beginning method where we are inserting 30 in the beginning of linked list means beginning of uh, before 40 so it will come here 30 yeah and output will be like this let's run this program 30 40 and null you can see here and let's pass it here list dot insert at beginning let's pass here uh, 50 and let's pass one another uh, data of the link list that I want to print uh, 20 and let's print the same again let's call the print link list method again so that we will be able to print all the elements of uh, singly link list all right let's run this program now and you can see here the output of this is 30 40 as we discussed and now we have added 50 so 50 should come uh, before 30 50 is before 30 yeah and uh, after that we have inserted 20 so 20 should come beginning of the linked list so it's beginning of the linked list and um, the value which we have inserted uh, first should come last and that value reference should point into null so you can see here the value that is 40 we have inserted first that is uh, the last last value of the singly linked list and the reference of this value is pointing to null so this is working and 
let's add one more list dot uh, 100 let's verify this this is the last input yeah again 100 uh, should be inserted at the beginning of the li linked list and yeah it's inserted here and the reference of newly created uh, node is pointing to 20 which was inserted before 100 so it's working fine and uh, we have done with this video guys and thank you so much for watching uh, this video stay tuned for another videos thank you